Welcome to Hashtag All Podcast Matter Presents. Just a regular ass movie review. This week we're doing Crawl. Crawl, motherfucker. It's from, the, the movie about alligators. Yeah, and so this is another one of the movies where I saw a trailer and I told him, I was like, hey, we got to see this. Because it said all the good things. It said from uh, producer Sam Raimi. I was like, well, I'm there. I know, he directed famous films like the Spider-Man trilogy. and The Spider-Man 1 and 2, he didn't direct the third one. And Drag Me to Hell. And Evil Dead. Which no one knows about. What? Everybody knows about Evil Dead. You know how no, well, no, Nobody knows about Jack Me to Hell. In this yeah, year. I've never seen that. And I was like, you never seen that? <laughs> nah. Oh, I'm going to let you borrow my copy. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yep, yep. Uh, yep. I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, how you doing, Tom? Um, also, the Evil Dead series. And then he said some really cool ass shit. Uh, he was like, uh, I want another Evil Dead. And it's gonna have Bruce Campbell in it, or he's like, I got three. He's like, I got three choices. He's like, it's gonna have Bruce Campbell in it, and I'm gonna direct it. Bruce Campbell not in it, and Fide Alex, I think it's Alejandro or Alejandro, the the dude that did the Evil Dead 2013. If Bruce Campbell's not gonna do it, he's gonna just direct another one. Or best case scenario, Bruce Campbell and Fide is gonna be in. It. And I was like, what? What? Have you seen the 2013 Evil Dead? No. It'll scare the shit out of you. I know. I tried. I watched a few minutes and I was too scared. Yeah, it was like, no, no, the music alone. <laughs> <laughs> White people in a camping? One black person? Nah. Mm-mm. Yeah, I was, I was already horrified. I've had those dreams before. And that's why I go to therapy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, I couldn't imagine Bruce Campbell with the scariest movie director. I, this is the, that's the scariest movie I've ever seen. This is my favorite scary movie. And I was like, I couldn't imagine that. But. If Sam Raimi says he's going to do it, Sam Raimi. Because he's playing with house money now. Because, I mean, he's not doing big budget anymore. <laughs> he's he's doing what he loves. This is what he should be doing. Exactly. Having fun. He's like, I've been doing this shit since the 70s. And y'all give me one bad movie that I didn't have full control over. And y'all, you know, act like y'all must have forgot Roy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> never, I'll never forget that song. Yeah. All right. It's my ringtone. Uh, this movie opens with a, a recently desegregated swim team, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, yeah. Florida. Uh, Gainesville, Florida. Uh, I was talking to this. Uh, we were talking to the girl about Gainesville versus South Florida and stuff like that. Remember when we was at that that uh, that meat spot? <laughs> I think I was wrong over at time. I don't know. <laughs> we were eating barbecue. And she was like, "Oh yeah, the hurricanes are South Florida. Gainesville doesn't." You know, I was like, "All right, cool." And I learned something. And this movie just gave us the MacGuffin. Well, no, they gave us. They gave us the answer, and I'm seeing it with somebody, and I had to explain to them why there was hella alligators in the movie. There's hella alligators in this movie. There's not one big one. There's not a couple of menacing ones. Nah, they just like, hey, nigga, it's Florida, baby. We got gators. Yeah, they uh, alligators are social animals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. As as the world's largest reptile. Are this they? is gonna be this is gonna be our most educational episode, I think. Nah, I'm pretty sure the. Uh, Batman 89 when we talk niggas about uh, psychology. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> Sigmund Freud was the first nigga too. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's a swimmer and she's a she's a swimmer on a travel team for Florida and that's a big school and so she's really good, right? Um, and I need to I need to Google one fact about this movie uh, <laughs> because he said something and I was like, wait a minute. Don't don't worry, it. don't worry. I did. Okay, I did. I'm, what are you I'm, talking about? The speed? Yeah, I'm, I'm, to... I'm I'm fully prepared with every fuck with every crocodile fact. Okay, and so um, so she just like lost it by two hundredths of a second or something, and then the movie kind of starts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, you're right. There's there's kind of a false start, which is right here. Yeah, and she has a flashback to her dad when she was young. I'm like, is your dad dead? Mm-hmm. Got a possibly dead dad situation here. Um, but he's like, remember, you're an apex predator. And this will come in later in the movie. Don't worry about it. Five times, at least. At least five times. <laughs> yeah, it does no no less than five. Yes. And so she's getting a call from her sister, and her sister's like, hey, hey, there's a fucking hurricane, a super duper hurricane coming down there. It's like the mother of all hurricane. If Bill Paxton was still alive, he'd do Twister 2, but it'd be a hurricane. <laughs> Damn. You know, I wasn't really expected for that Bill Baxton bombshell. Oh, yeah, I, I, baby. You know, it comes to me on the fly. I, I know. I'm just, I'm just a little sad now. He was a treasure. Oh, yeah. That speech? Whew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little moist just thinking about it. 
I might have to watch his Independence Day speech and then Idris Alba's uh, robot speech because it's like, wait, that wasn't Bill Paxton, was it? Let's let's just say it was. No, that's Bill something. It was another white dude. I get my white dudes mixed up sometimes. No, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bill Paxton, another guy. All right. Bill Paxton's dead, I think. Somebody's uh, dead. So she takes a call from her sister and she's like, fuck you. We don't really get along well, even though we're both very affluent. No, it was kind of a dynamic that she, you know, she chose to run away or she chose to stay with dad. And then there was a divorce and, you know, messy, you know, messy sibling things. They got, a, you know, it was just like, yeah, because she was like hi to the baby. And, you know, it's all good. And her mom's in Boston. Yeah, her mom's in France and she's uh, just walking around with a grocery bag with a baguette sticking out. Mm-hmm. I think it was more that the older sister chose mom and she chose dad. But then I think she dad was. The bad choice because mom's in France with her new beau. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was going to make fr- make fun of France a lot, but I decided not to because they're going through a record drought at the moment. Oh, they should get some of that water from the Venice Canal that you think, <laughs> that you think is safe to drink. <laughs> I did once, and it, I think it explains a lot now. <laughs> but I think, right. I, think, I think we should uh, popularize the hashtag uh, get it wet for France to raise awareness. So everybody just start using that if you could. Yeah. Hashtag get it wet for France. Um, so she was like, all right, uh, dad's not picking up his phone and the biggest hurricane ever is coming. Hurricane, right? Hurricane. It's coming and not to be confused with Hurricane Chris, who was amazing rapper, but somehow never got, you know. <laughs> but I think a, a lot of things happened because Halle Berry wasn't cool about Halle Berry. And so she like, I think like likes lightweight sued with it. And so now you hear it's Miss Berry, Miss Berry. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really uncool of her. Um, glad to hear you're a fan of Hurricane Chris. The fool gases, bro. With Wayne's Lil Wayne was a fan of him, had him on one mixtape. And so um so she was like, Look here, it's the greatest hurricane ever, right? Top three. Um, and dad's right. not picking up his phone and I'm worried about him. But don't you dare go down there and try and look for him. <laughs> <laughs> she set up the movie with this phone call and then said, You better not make a movie. Better it's not it's too dangerous. Don't even be tempted. And and then another person along the way tells her, don't start this movie. Yeah. <laughs> and so she was like, all right, I'm just going to look for him. And since everybody's leaving, there's not going to be any traffic, which, you know, she's like, I can beat the hurricane, you know. <laughs> you got to watch out for the hurricane commute. Exactly. It, bro, if you're going the opposite way, it's like freaking San Francisco in the morning. You know, if you're leaving, that bitch is all amazing. And so she's on the road down the hurricane, and as before she gets to her destination, which is South South Florida, which is two hours. Just think about two hours away from Gainesville. I don't know if anybody besides Floridians or know how far that is, but it seems far. I thought this was a, a huge missed opportunity to, to play E40 in the Clicks Hurricane while she was driving. Uh, oh, they missed a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> there was no Uncle Luke here. Not not at all. <laughs> I expected raise the roof at the end of the movie too. I at least had Pitbull and Mr. Three Hundred Five. Anyway, <laughs> remember when he used to be a rapper? I do. Yeah, I, mean, I don't remember it, but I heard about it today. Oh, I talked about. I think I brought it up last. Not literally today, but before. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, um, so she drives past the um the villain in the movie where it says we had a gator farm. It says gator farm next exit and shit like that. I was like, oh, that oh, we're getting all the gators. That the sign said gator farm, but it also said we're getting all the gators. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, nothing but a gator party, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, like Miami in the 90s. No, like, they, they were the hurricanes. Oh, no, like Florida in the 2000s, they had Joe, Joe Kim Noah. Bro, that was it. Bruh, I met somebody that went there when they won back-to-back uh, NCAA titles and, like, football championships. He said, bro, I partied for a whole year. I didn't stop drinking. I was like, that's good. That is good. <laughs> like, <laughs> living. Bro, that is super college. You win like book you book in a whole year with the titles and a fucking you win the the two most prestigious titles in co- in college sports. Uh the football and basketball, bro. Yeah, it's 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 a party, bro. Um record record high aids. Record high aids. Um, <laughs> is there a movie about that? There will be. There should be. Florida in 2006 or something like that. Anyway, so uh, she she runs into like the uh, the hurricane border and the hurricane police are like you can't come in here. It, it, there's a hurricane. If you look like in this direction, that's what like this. They're like this is the mother of all hurricanes. Like this is man, man, man. Please don't. Your dad's fucking dead. He's dead. All right, he's dead. 
<laughs> don't, don't even try to look. Just turn around. We're going to establish that we have like a little bit of history, which is totally unrelated to the, the actual plot of the movie. But we no, need, that's the reason why he would go brave that hurricane. We need to pad the runtime, right? Hey. Um, and so she was like, all right, I'm not going to go to the hurricane, uh, hurricane warning, but oh no, my stomach hurts. <laughs> and, then she, <laughs> and then she just turns around, which everybody knew she was going to do. I mean, they should have just stood in front of her. She was really going. And so she goes through the hurricane and luckily she's driving an SUV, a Jeep Liberty. Jeep yep. commercial. It definitely made me want to buy one, like uh, in the big red that she was buying, mm-hmm. which, you know, red in film stands for like strong and strength and energy. And you want mm-hmm. that for a hurricane. Jeep Liberty. Mm-hmm. America's Jeep. Anyway, <laughs> so she gets to her dad condo and this it was a single man, a sad single man condo. It was it super had, sad. There, yeah. was like, there was like uh, containers for hungry man dinners everywhere. Oh, you did it. I, I knew I shouldn't have let you go. <laughs> I was mad. I was like, damn it. Let me interrupt yeah. you because he's going to say hungry man dinners. Yeah, I boxed <laughs> you out. About, my defense was impeccable right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't get it, man. He had, like, uh, the chunky Campbell soup, you know, the <laughs> ones where Michael Strahan mom used to be in there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's lonely, but he's doing okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of sodium, though. A lot of fucking oh, sodium. Oh, a lot of sodium. But he can afford those high, those high uh, the top shelf soups, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top of the line. Not yeah. no um, Safeway Select uh, cream of mushroom shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's struggle soup right there. <laughs> Where it says you can use milk or water, I'm like, depending on your poverty level. <laughs> Woo, shit. It's a whole different meal if you use milk, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't use that. Hey, hey we got to save that. <laughs> we'll put that in there. So um, she gets there. She sees, like, past due notices. So he also poor, which has nothing to do with this fucking movie. Uh, also. <laughs> not, not, not at all. Not at I all. guess they're talking about how Florida went for Trump, and then they're still in a uh, record low, you know, in fun points. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, this movie was about global warming. You took, did. Just, just FYI, I was going to make that joke later, but you, you yeah, good yeah. job. Yeah, fuck you with Hungry Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Hungry Man, the meal, meal of the, lo- the loneliest meal in America. Exactly. There's a bunch of tissues in his porn laptop was up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know you give it up on life when your laptop doesn't even have a uh, password on it. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. I don't care. You can just look at it. You, don't give, you give zero fucks. Um, so she sees the dog in the movie, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I... Movies are too scary if they have a dog. The Meg was great because they had a dog. And I was like, bruh, and I'm worried. The Meg actually fucking threw us off. We thought the dog was gone. The Meg. This, this movie in the trail, in the commercials made it look like the dog would die. Hmm. Made it look like it wasn't even a star of the movie. And so we was like, it was an ugly dog too. So I was like, oh shit, man. See, it's easier to kill an ugly dog. You know, you I, I, just, I think it was a pretty okay looking dog. It was one of those dogs, you know, but hey, dog saves the motherfuckers' lives and shit like sure that. Was trying to, was trying to. I'm pretty sure she just said, push the ottoman, the dog would have did it. Oh, he was pretty smart. That's like one of those Fraser dogs. He looks pretty yeah. smart. He was like, wait a minute, you can't get up. Let me push this anyway. He's like, that's not ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, she was like, well, dad's not here, so let me check the old house. So she's talking to her sister. She's like, hey, bitch, get out of here. The movie is not started yet. You can still make it out of here. All right, don't go in there. Dad's fucking dead. All right, he's fucking dead. <laughs> he's like, no, I gotta save him because he's estranged. And since we're gonna be estranged and in danger, maybe we can make up. Kind of, kind of like uh, Angelina Jolie's dad and uh, and her dad. John Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his name. Even though they reconciled and then unreconciled. Yeah, because is he like a fucking staunch Republican? Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> one of the bad ones <laughs> and so she uh, gets to the house so she's driving and it's it, they're letting us know the rain's coming baby she's all splashing she's up to her fucking grill in the uh, fucking water and it's really not safe for her to be there but it's I mean not, I, she loves her dad not at all and when she gets out of the car with her dog she refers to him as a fur baby and I, I just want to let people know that it's not okay to use that term please please stop everybody why is fur baby I, I'm, it, it just annoys me a lot Oh, okay. A lot. Damn it. And I'm not going to see Shy for a while. I'll call her a fur baby. Anyways. I'm, like, I'm like, those aren't babies. They're, they're animals. And I love animals. But don't, don't call them that. So she gets to the house and she's like, dad, 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 dad. And then she calls his phone and she sees his phone is up on the stand. 
And she was like, oh, shit, he is here. Where could he be? He's not upstairs. He's not downstairs. He's not in the backyard. God damn it. He can't be anywhere. His truck's here. His phone's here. Where could he fucking be? <laughs> they spent it five minutes about where could he be when it was like there's only other one obvious place where he could be. <laughs> in the incredibly cavernous basement? Mm-hmm. A Look. beautiful basement, though. But it, you want to know how it's built like that? Why? Because so the floodwaters can go through it. Remember, we used to didn't have floods like that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. This movie does have a whole lot of social commentary. Yeah. Uh, I I just want to say, okay, I'm going to put in my first Gator Fact right here. mm -hmm. They can swim up to 20 miles per hour. Uh And humans? Humans Can swim up to 5.3 miles per hour. That's like the fastest human. Oh, so that was was a fucking lie. He was a Frenchman. Oh, so it was a fucking lie. Yep. You sure? That seems a little bit slow. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's... I, I wrote it down and everything. 5.3 miles per hour. Uh, he was also French. This is also the most, probably our most French-based episode in a while. Uh, shout out to French's Mustard. Shout out to French Montana. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think, I think you're the first person to do that since nobody actually likes his music. He's still popping for some reason. He'd be on all the movies and shit like that. Well, he must have a really good agent. He has maybe, Diddy. And Diddy maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe he sells Coke to Diddy or something like that. He might that be that sense. guy. That makes sense. <sighs> and so the dog was like, oh, since you don't get the cues that he's not upstairs, he's not in the backyard, and but he's still here, I'm just going to help you out. Bark, 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 bitch, he's in the basement. Yeah, there is some really good dog acting right here. I believe oh, he, yeah. he was emoting. He felt, I felt like he cared. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, do I really got to go down there? And then this is the first question where I'm like, do I love my dad that much? Hmm. <laughs> I'm in the scary basement. <laughs> and so, like, it, it wasn't, it was like, it wasn't even that, like, she had to look not knowing if he was still down there. This nigga could have went and got a cannoli and said, you know, maybe the car <laughs> broke down and he called uh, Uber Boat because yeah. they had that, they had to have that. Down there. I wouldn't have looked if there was no, if I didn't know for sure. Yeah, he wasn't dad, dad, and guess he's not down there. <laughs> oh, but, but, but before she goes into the basement, there's a boom side explosion when a tree crashes through the window. Yeah, I it was think- a real hurricane, baby. That was a birch tree. Them things don't just they either they either stand strong or they snap. That shit snapped and then flew through the window. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's crawling through this scary and cavernous basement that's like the size of the bat cave. Oh no 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 no! She is very. She was standing up at some time and she looks all the way five ten. Yeah, she was. Um, she was tall. Uh, also, there was dead wreck. There was dead things in the trap. There was shit that she stepped in and everything like that. Rats running all around the basement and everything like that. And she later she had open wounds and she had to swim in that shit. She didn't make it. <laughs> oh no! Also, crocodiles have a whole lot of bacteria in their mouth, like yeah. all the bacteria. She didn't make it. No, she did not make it. <laughs> she died of everything when she got to the hospital. That's why they didn't show us the end of the movie. It's like they did all that, but yeah, you both died because you had everything in you. You oh. had red AIDS, nigga. Yeah, there is. They're swimming in all kinds of water. Basically, swimming in the Venice Canal. Um, yeah, open wounds though. Open wounds. <laughs> nope. All the open wounds. It had so many points of injury. Like everything's getting amputated. <laughs> she's not swimming again. I hope she don't think she's swimming again. No, you're, you're right. You got to amputate the neck, the head from the body at that point. <laughs> exactly. I think the eyes are the only thing that's good because they have like a seal on them. Uh, so, so she's, she's crawling to the bathroom, stepping in shit. She loses her chocolates. <laughs> well, for, why is she wearing like sandals in a hurricane? Hey, she just got a swim practice, baby. Uh, all right, all right. We know white people love sandals, bro. <laughs> Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to wear it. I'm still wearing shorts. I don't care. <laughs> and so she's like, she's dad, 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 dad in it for another two minutes. And then she hears some music playing all the way at the other end of the house. And she's like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let me go towards the music, which is the only thing that's helping her. And she sees a bloody handprint on a pipe. It is a perfect handprint, too. Like, Tom Hanks would be proud. Yeah. Uh, at that point, I'm leaving because obviously he's dead. Yeah, you got to leave at that point. Exactly. It's it's moist down here. It's scary and it's dark and I don't, I don't like it. There's rats, dead possums and shit like that, or opossums. Um, and <laughs> and it's a handprint. I was like, wait a minute. I thought this was a crocodile movie. We got bloody handprints. This might be a supernatural movie, bitch. You know, what if you got a supernatural crocodile? 
I I would see the movie. I think they set it up for the sequel. I'll explain it throughout. <laughs> All right. So she finds her dad. And he's unconscious, and she's like looking around because he looks like dehydrated and shit. And she looks and like this big old gushing wound. And she's like, "Holy shit!" And she's like, "What? What could have possibly I done that?" Mm-hmm. Um. And, and then her, she, dad, her dad wakes up, and he's like, "Did I miss Hannity?" And she's like, "No, dad." No, no, you don't wake up yet. Um, she had to roll him, put him on the tarp because thank God there was a tarp there. <laughs> if I if I learned anything, it's uh, keep a tarp uh, everywhere, flares just every, in every room of the house. A pistol, maybe a little machete, screwdriver at least. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. This movie is exactly like a video game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just everything, pick it up because after the bloody thing, and I was like, you know what? I'm coming down here, Dad, but I'm coming down here strapped. Because it's like, some shit might pop off. <laughs> he has, he obviously he has a gun in the yeah. house. I think he, he just seems like the type. It's a Florida. It's Florida, baby. He didn't seem, he didn't seem racist. I didn't get a racist thing. Vibe to no, him. no, he didn't. He, huh. he, he's <laughs> like, you, you're, that one friend is okay. <laughs> he's like, if you, look here, I'm not, I don't approve of it, but I'm going to love my grandbaby. <laughs> And I'm I'm, I'm going to refer to it every time as my chocolate baby. <laughs> uh, my little ra- my little raisin. Yeah. Uh, so she's dragging him, and she almost got. Him. She's like the movie was almost over. She's this. She actually, of course, she's in good straight. She's a fucking uh, a college class swimmer. So she's dragging him, and she hears him hissing. And Boom. I guess they, huh? Boom! Side explosion. Yeah, and so she's like, oh, shit, it's a fucking alligator. Right, alligator. And so she's trying to uh, reverse and push this motherfucker back. And then, what's the first bite? Uh, The first first bite. No, it's not. They actually make it to under the stairs, and the gator's like, fuck, you're under the stairs. The stairs are my natural enemy. I'm going to come back later. Yeah, and so right then, her father wakes up. He goes, hey, bitch, there's a gator down here. (laughs) And she's like, oh, really? (laughs) (laughs) I I met him. I met George. Yeah, she was like, "Yeah, uh, that's why I pissed my pants," <laughs> because that wasn't that was a full grown gator. That nigga ate all his gator weedies. Oh yeah, he was. Uh, he you know those, you know the Tim Tebow ones. <laughs> he's closer to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the difference between an alligator and a, cro- and a crocodile? It's the A shape in their mouth, right? The uh, mouth. yes, but also, I mean, most people will tell you that uh, the Southern Alligator Party supported the Civil Rights Movement in 1964. It was actually the gators. Uh, but no, you're right about the U-shape. Yeah. Alligators have the U-shape and uh, crocodiles have the V-shape. Oh, and I don't, I never can tell it again. I never can tell it. <laughs> 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 never tell them because I thought that was a crocodile. And it was like, nope, it's a gator. It's a fucking gator. I was like, but his mouth is all around. It was like, shut up, bitch. I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> fine. Uh, this gator is loud as fuck. He's like roaring and snarling this whole movie. I don't think alligators do that. But it's cool. Uh, no, no, I've heard that before. They do that shit, and I've seen it in other movies. But remember, these were full grown, healthy ass gators. There was yeah. no malnutritious gators down there. No, that's true. They're they're healthy. They're going through puberty. They're they're pretty big. We will starve brown kids, but we will not starve a motherfucking gator in captivity. <laughs> I was a little sad about all the gator trauma in this movie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you know, hey, uh, one thing gators like them motherfuckers know what hurricanes is. They they're not doing all this work to go eat some people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know they they did paint them as monsters. I'm like I don't think they do would do that. Yeah, it's like uh, they, I think they want to get the fuck out of there because even though they're a strong <laughs> swimmer, they know what's happening. <laughs> I'm surprised the dog stayed around. He was like, "Thank you for letting me out of the house," but there's a hurricane coming from the dog sense is feeling. <laughs> Uh, so I guess like the clock is ticking because uh, the dad has a bat on his leg and then she realizes that she dropped her phone mm-hmm. uh, in front of the stairwell. Yeah. And that would have saved the whole movie. You know, there was a whole lot of outs in this movie. And she, hey, hey. No, the movie put in other rules and I appreciated that. <laughs> and this is where we get our first uh, zoo book moment when she go, she's going to go out from the stairwell to get the, uh, the phone. Mm-hmm. Her dad's like, wait a minute. Remember, they can see in the dark and they can feel your movement in the water. And I'm like, hold the fuck up. Hold up. Is that true? <laughs> they can really see in the dark. You mean to tell me that these super beasts have one of the abilities of a cat yeah. also? Well, if you think about it, they live in swamps and murky ass water. So they probably would have fucking evolved to where they can see in dark ass shit. This is a powerful ass super beast. I had no idea they could do that. And I'm amazed. It's, yeah. it's true. I looked it up. I looked it up at crocodile.org. Yeah. And some people would actually think they're descendants of dinosaurs. And you'd be fucking wrong. 
Birds are. Birds. <laughs> Uh, also, everybody, make sure you actually go to crocodile.org. It's just this dude's person on the website, and he's uh, he's a computer programmer. Mm-hmm. See, they missed the perfect opportunity to superimpose Steve Irwin and save the whole day. <laughs> Too soon. No, 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 no. Because Steve Irwin would have just like, no, no, calm down, calm down. <laughs> he would have clamped on his back and just held his mouth shut. Yeah, exactly. He would have just used all the gator wrestling he never learned in his life. <laughs> I actually want that movie now. Is but, that, you know... Uh-huh. Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. All right, all right, got him. I yeah. want the uh, uh, Straight Outta Compton, but Steve Irvin movie. The story of his life and about how yeah. he uh, came from the hardened streets of Australia, just wrestling gators and other animals every day. And they got to show that one episode we got spit in the face by a cobra. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite fucking thing. He was like, this is speed cobra. I probably shouldn't leave it alone. Oh, shit, he spit mine. <laughs> that was my favorite fucking episode. Because he was like, I'm going to die doing this shit. <laughs> I mean, he was about that life. He died, yeah, doing what he, lo- he died doing what he loved. Yeah. No, no, he died because fucking punk ass stock stingray. Nigga, it's still on site for stingrays. It's still on fucking site for stingray. <laughs> I see stingray nigga, bruh. Every stingray. You he go to it. you go to crams and just punch him? No, I go to stereo with the pistol. They don't check you they don't check you at the double pistol. <laughs> no, they don't, they don't, don't pat, they don't pat you down at aquariums, but you know they should. They should. They should. Nigga, we still ain't forgot. Every time a birthday come down, or every time I see Bendy or that picture with his son doing the exact same one, I was like, all right, bruh. You know what? It, it, I got a list: it's Zimmerman and Stingrays. <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, it's a good list to keep there. Yeah, um, um, but yeah, that's Tom, that's Tom, Tom, Tom. I mean, all the way in New Mexico. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is true. The crocodiles can see in the dark. Fucking monsters! Super dinosaurs. <clears throat> and so uh, her dad was like, "Hey, look here! Don't go try and get your phone." She was like, "Dad, if I go get my phone, the movie's over." And she was like, all right, cool. She knows her dad any time of the movie. <laughs> and so she goes to get her phone and hiss, hiss. Oh, shit, there's two crocodiles. Twist. Yeah. It was, it was a good twist. And uh, they're, they're actually related. So they're very close. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They have, um, they, I could tell by their body language, there was a lot of nonverbal communication. Mm-hmm. They was in South Florida, uh, 305, uh it's a crocodile, so you know it's about that life, like Opa Lock <laughs> City. You know, yeah, they listen. They listen to uh, a lot of old slip and side records. Yeah, oh man, yeah. Port of Miami Two's coming out. Like, <laughs> I saw that today. Yeah, I don't care because I don't like Ross. But I mean, okay, that's cool. That's you. Um, is this what you get? Bit? Um, yes. Uh, she she grabs the phone. And uh, she does make it back under the stairs, but the gator grabs her and kind of drags her off. No, she doesn't grab the phone. She dropped it and he stepped on it. Oh, yeah. Well, she... she uh, Deus Ex. <laughs> <laughs> she did pick it up and try to make a phone call. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then the, the gator stomped it out and like he twisted his foot on it like he was putting out a cigarette butt. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you don't want shit to catch on fire. And then she gets like in another part of the house. Because yeah. there's a lot of crevasses in there. Types of <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Uh, so they they get separated, and the dad is uh, inserting humor into the movie. He's like, mm-hmm. uh, "Hey Haley, uh, what do you call a black crocodile?" What? Oh, I don't know. I didn't write the end of that joke. I'm just wondering. Okay. I, just, I was just gonna kind of pretend that he's racist just for comedic purposes. No, no, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was Barry like, Pepper, right? Barry Pepper. He's not Sam Rockwell. First of all, he uh, can't dance, and he won't play racist. No, I y'all, y'all, I didn't realize I was Barry Pepper until like 45 minutes into the movie. Or you know the two the this this the second t- name on the screen. Anyway. Oh, uh, I wasn't reading. Uh, <laughs> one ex one ex bit. One asshole thing about these movies is like they'll be conscious and they'll wait like fifteen dads to where they'll till they respond. And so he's like Haley, 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 and she's fine. She's just putting tourniquet on, and she's like Haley, Haley, Haley. He said like ten times like he got my dad. He's like I'm fine, dad. It's like bitch, you, you heard me the whole time. I don't, I don't know how loud it is in this basement with just me, you, and two big ass cockroaches. But I'm pretty sure I'm loud. I know I'm loud. I, I tell think, me I'm loud all the time. Well, see, the problem was that she was just had the trauma from uh, stabbing a crocodile in the eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, felt, she know how she felt about that. Yeah, she's like, "Am I? Am I a monster?" Mm-hmm. It was self defense, but I mean, he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just trying to eat. Anyway. Yeah, he's, he's just, this is this, this nature is taking its course, and you got to let that happen. 
Uh, so she had to tie a tourniquet because she had these huge ass gashes that missed every vital artery. And is definitely infected with all sorts of gator bacteria. Mm-hmm. Well, we haven't even gotten to the good part of the infection. Um, <laughs> there was a myth that used to, if you tie a tourniquet for too long, your leg would come off. No, you're fine. You're just fucking stopping the circulation as much and shit like that. You don't want all the blood. You're still bleeding. You just, all the blood isn't coming. Baby. Have you, all have you practiced like making a tourniquet? I've seen it enough time, baby. You need a string and a twig. <laughs> you seen that one? Turn it in. Everybody like turns it on. Like I don't know. I guess I might have a high pain tolerance, but I I'm pretty sure the gout, the the gushing. I mean the the bite marks hurt more than me. You know, tidying up the bones and shit like wow. that. Wow, they make it look like <laughs> it's a, it, that hurts the worst thing in the world. I'm like, no, nigga, you just got bit by a motherfucking uh, 300 pound alligator. I, I'm pretty sure tying your belt is is not the worst pain in the world, my nigga. It's one it's one of my favorite movie tropes though. She was like, ah, cutting off the blood circulation. God damn it. This is the worst pain for pregnancy. Like, no, I'm pretty sure the gator bite hurts like a bitch that missed every vital artery. Just missed every vital artery. That's, that's because it's, the gators are super intelligent. I'm pretty sure they're going to inherit the earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they are the descendants of smaller, I mean, larger gator. Or the planet of the gators. I mean, they can fucking see at night. In the dark. I don't know about night. <laughs> anyway, so dad's like a new plan. He was like, hey, baby, I'm going to spit out this fucking uh, construction jargon that you know nothing about. And then I'm going to explain it later. <laughs> it's like, look here, you're going to follow the pipes to the wet wall. And then there's a, a fucking other release hatch because every house should have like five ways of getting your basement immediately. <laughs> <laughs> of course i mean like, really when i buy my house i'm cutting holes in every fucking floor and putting <laughs> rugs on it <laughs> yeah he's he's very specific and i learned a whole lot he's like this house was built before 1909 so remember mm-hmm. that means you can escape via the credenza below the tenderloin <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna add on to it but that was outrageous <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And so he's like, find the wet wall. It's just like, like my dad could say some shit like that to me because I actually went on fucking jobs with him and I still wouldn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> he made no inclination that he took her to work with her and shit like that. So he said to him, he's like, look, you're going to follow the pipe south, all right? <laughs> and once you get by south by self in the west, you know, in the fucking meat of the house, next to the support beam, I need you to find the wet wall. And if you're not three times, you're going to find it. And then those pipes going up, those are uh, pressure release pipes. And once you get there, you'll find the fucking open hatch and shit like that. She said, huh? She was like, oh, my bad. Uh, oh. Baby, when the pipes go up, <laughs> <laughs> if you see some pipes going up, that's the spot where you need to go to. So just follow the pipes till they go up. He's like, so, so your only skill is, is swimming. That's fine. That, that's fine. We're going to use that. Mm-hmm. Focus on the swimming. Yeah. Apex predator. <laughs> and so, uh, oh, while they're uh, talking and bleeding to death, he was like, uh, <laughs> how you been? He was like, yeah. Um, I haven't been good. Oh, we got to throw some heart in the movie. So she was mad at her dad because they got a divorce. And she thought she was the problem with the divorce because, well, she's mad at her dad because they got a divorce because she thought the divorce happened because the dad spent too much time with the daughter. He's like, like that's no reason to be fucking mad. He's like, was it, was it the swimming dad? Was it too much swimming? Like, was I too good at it? <laughs> and he was like, no. And then she was like, and he was like, we just kind of gripped it apart, especially when you guys went off to college and shit like that. Then we just had to look at each other's asses. And we was like, nah, that wasn't cool. So we got divorced. <laughs> also, and then she was like, well, I, I'm really sad because you stopped coming to my, my meets. And he was like, I thought you were mad at me. She was like, I was mad at you. That don't mean you stopped coming. I was like, that is true. That is fucking true. No, that, that is. He, so the dad's an ass pretty much. Yeah. It was like, you don't stay away because you think so. your daughter's mad at you. Um, at Especially some point, when y'all used to be best friends. At some point, she starts looking through a window because that might be a good place to escape, and she sees. Uh, wait, 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 we haven't got to the smart dog yet. We right after that, I'll let you get into it. And so <laughs> she gets to the place where the walls are going up and the trap door, but there's something, there's some large object on the trap door, and it seemed like this trap door is an emergency, so you wouldn't put large shit on top of the trap door. I know he's moving and shit like that. I know it. I know it. But you still don't put – there's a whole big-ass house to put that one piece of item. Don't put it on the fucking trap door. Well, th- just like Tony Stark in the MCU, mm-hmm. they kind of sprinkle some clues that he's that he may or may not be working drunk. Yeah, I'll give you that. 
And then the dog's trying to help her out. She's like, hey, hey, Kelsey, tell me what to do. I heard there's some big ass alligators down there, and I can bark at them. And a smaller one probably gets scared of me barking at it. But there's two of them and a gang gang. She's like, if you tell me to move this, the dog was really smart. And I'm telling you, if she probably told the dog to move the credenza or whatever that shit was, he probably would have tried. Yeah, because she, she almost had it. She almost had it. Just needed like a little put. That was like a 40 pound dog, maybe. Yeah. Like, if she had a, you gotta you know how to rock shit. You know, I've broken in my house plenty of times. And sometimes you gotta know how to rock shit away. All right. Anyway. <laughs> she's, she's too affluent. That's why. Man, you never had to break into your house before, baby. She just doesn't know the struggle. All right, so now we got windows. All right, she's the whole time water's pouring in the basement because the streets are fucking flooded. Yep, and she's looking through the window and she sees uh, some white folk looting a gas station. Fucking animals. They they just really resorted to their their primal state, and Mm -hmm. uh, we just saw their true nature, you know. Um, they stole an ATM machine. I guess they just watched a barbershop and learned that that's a good thing to do. Which is not a good thing to do at all. No, it's not. It's also I don't know how y'all get in. I, I don't know how y'all get into it. I want to see somebody on YouTube get into an ATM machine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's impossible. Mm-hmm. Like once the money runs out, they just they actually just throw away the machine and get another one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh. They build the machine around the money. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the movie, though. When we see, uh, the, so the one of the dudes who's looting the gas station, they see Haley's light. She's trying to signal them so they can get help. And he kind of walks away from the group. And while his back is turned, we see that uh, one of the people, who is a lady with cornrows, who is yeah. also white, mm-hmm. gets eaten. Yeah. But he couldn't hear her because she wasn't screaming loud enough over the hurricane. No. He was not that far away from him. He would have heard her fucking screaming, or her blood currently scream of getting attacked by an alligator. One of the throwaway lines was that uh, he's deaf in his left ear. Okay. Good job. And so he's like, he's like, he, while he's looting, and I think that's probably a fucking federal felony, right? Um, he sees somebody, he's like, hey, somebody's trapped down there. I got to do this. I got to fucking do this. And so uh, he was wanders around. He's like, oh shit. Um, She's somebody's down there. He turns around to see his girlfriend getting ate the fuck up. And he's like, Billy, get in the fucking boats. But then he looks around and he sees like some uh, gator fins. <laughs> yeah, they're they're doing the street shark thing where they stick their, mm-hmm. their tails out. Yeah, and he hurts them dunna dunna. And he got jumped like but like by three of them. And that's when we know, oh shit, who let the gators out? Who who who, who? <laughs> it was it was nothing but the gator party indeed. Mm-hmm. And he gets like slammed against the window and they're like ripping him apart and it's it's pretty great. His brother's watching this shit and he's like, Holy shit, I'm in water. Let me be horrified right now. He's like, if only if only there were shells for me to climb up onto. Mm-hmm. Or maybe a counter. Man, because I'm pretty sure they can't climb shells. But no, I'm in this convenience store. So I die. <laughs> it was a, it's a great shot of him like from the mirror at a convenience store getting mm-hmm. murdered. I'm like, I yeah. Hey, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure that wasn't budget constraint, but sometimes, you know, you don't need all everybody getting murdered right on camera and shit like that. No, no. Sometimes I, somebody getting ate the fuck up behind me while I'm looking at something else. Oscar. No, this this movie was, this was like an art house crocodile mm-hmm. alligator movie. Sam Raimi, baby. Sam Raimi. Like, this movie was like, hey, I know why you came here. Mm-hmm. You want plenty of bodies, which they gave us, plenty of crocodiles. And suspense, two jump scares. <laughs> there, were, there were, yeah, there were two uh, boom side explosions from alligators. Yeah, and the tree, the tree got me the worst. <laughs> and then I was just on edge the rest of the movie because, <laughs> like, because I'm like, hey, is, is the dog okay? <laughs> and so uh, she, was, uh, so Haley's watching the whole time as motherfuckers get eaten. She was like, "Whoop, yeah." And so it's then like, dad, dad was like, "All right, this, this is all right. Go ahead, I'm. I'll let you have this one." He's like he pulls out his tape measure and he's like the curvature <laughs> of how the rain's going and this be monsoon season and um, but it's the fourth year in a row and he was like but we had a record low last year hey let me have about an hour before we're underwater he's <laughs> like I'm also a mathematician during my uh, during the the off season for construction <laughs> and so um. I had I had I had a whole shit written written for that, but I'll let you have it. Okay. All right. So let's just say the, let's not say the cop the cops come. Yeah, that is what happens actually. Okay, the cops come. Go ahead. She's like, all right, it's time to make a new plan. 
Uh, but then the police arrive just right after that, which is one of the officers that she met earlier, the hurricane police. Mm-hmm. And she's like, we're in the basement. And he's like, are is anyone in here? We're in the basement. Is anyone in here? And that happens for like two or three minutes. Yeah. That's the filler of this movie of motherfuckers. <sighs> that wasn't a brand new house. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he, he can hear them. All right. Yes, he so it was like the whole thing. And then the dog's like, no, n- nigga here, nigga here. Nigga, here, nigga over here, and so uh, yeah, and so finally he realized basement. the basement, and so um, he goes to the basement and he hears loud and clear like, "All right, we're in the basement." He's like, "Okay, cool," and then he was like, "Hey, nigga, there's crocodiles down here though, so be on the lookout for fucking crocodiles, baby." <laughs> He's like, "What's <laughs> what's that? What is there's a dog here?" Uh, meanwhile, his partner is also outside, and he sees he's a swing set. He sees his swing set just being pulled on. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also the boat got stopped because like some dental floss got wrapped around the motor. Exactly. You don't you don't flush that shit, bro. You throw that shit away. Anyway, and so he gets it. Like I thought he was gonna get it because there's crocodiles swimming all around, motherfuckers. But these cro- crocodiles are uh, they they know they're in the movie, so they're doing their best acting. They're like, I'm not gonna get him now. Bro. I'm gonna wait till it's like you know shit like that. You know. And so uh, he gets the boat, you know, ready and willing to be driven up. But he wanted to go investigate. A, a... This nigga died because he wanted to investigate a chain moving funny that was submerged in the water in a hurricane. I don't and know what. I don't maybe, know what he thought he was going to save. A drowning baby or some shit like that. Nah, like, bro. What, like whatever it was is already dead. It's clearly just an object of some kind. Exactly. If you find it something alive. It is going to kill you, which it did. Exactly. So, I mean, stay on the boat, my nigga. Y'all act like, I, I don't think anyone else, I don't think people in this movie knew that gators live in San Francisco and Florida, Florida. Well, I think it's like in a movie that when people don't know zombies exist, this is their first experience. With whole gators at all. Yes. This Even is though, no, but, but, you know, Florida's Gainesville lives right there. There was a gator farm. They all had to pass and shit like that. But anyway. <laughs> this This is one of the best deaths in the movie, though. Because mm-hmm. he, he gets, like, ripped apart like toddlers eating string cheese. It's the best. Wasn't it when a bunch of gators got him? Yes. Or was that a different one? Yeah, well, it, was a, it was a whole lot of gang shit. They, like, ripped him apart. Yeah. And that was one of those satisfying ones, like one of those piranha movies where they all get out of them at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so, what, uh, so Wade, I think his name is, some white name. And so he's like, hey, Thomas, can you hear me? Thomas, Thomas. But he didn't have his head on the swivel, and he dies. This is, like, one of the most satisfying deaths since uh, – Fucking uh, Sam Sam Jackson got ate by that shark. Oh, oh, definitely. I was thinking about that the whole movie. Yeah, because I mean, I knew I knew this was gonna happen because they gave away this 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 death in the trailer, which they shouldn't have did. Thank you, but yeah, I mean that's what got me in the movie because I saw two, more than two people die, so that's what got me in the movie. But this death you shouldn't have gave this one away, baby. Nah, they. I blame whoever cut the trailer. Yeah. I'm like studio, you can hold back a little bit. You mm-hmm. can hold back. So he gets bit all the way in fucking half. Um, he gets bit all the way in half, uh, but he's still alive because you know, hey, I, I, I'm giving up. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I, I'm too injured. <laughs> I'm, I'm not too even playing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna consume to my, consume to my wounds. I give in. This is it. This is it for me. Uh, then. Haley tries to save save that dude who's the officer who's being eaten alive. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, that's that's a lost cause. Yeah, uh, and she like puts sticks her neck out there for everything like that. And so he's all dead and shit like that. And she gets back to her safe place because she she called base tag. <laughs> he's like, nope, no nope, base power, base power. Yeah, like, I made it. Uh, somehow her her dad her dad drags her through uh, one of the mini catacombs in this basement. Mm-hmm. And uh, he gives an impassioned speech. So I'm like, you know what, Barry Pepper? You are a good actor. I was ready to swim after he gave that speech. But then he said... <laughs> Does he give out another gator fact at this point? Yeah, no, no. This oh, is no, no, you know what? I was wait- I fucking wrote this shit before he said it. And I'm glad he said it. When he said it, I'm like, fuck yeah. But <laughs> yeah, we're going to outsmart so, these gators. No, no, it wasn't outsmarting gators. It's the fucking non- the non-fact he gave in the movie. Oh, what was it? Okay, so he was like, look here, baby. You just going to have to swim straight for it. He was like, look, he, uh, he said the thing about the, the sensitive, air sensitivity thing. You want to talk about that? Oh, yeah, he did say that. Uh, I, remember, like, 
I remember the part about them being not being able to feel being able to feel the vibration in the water. All right, and he said banging on the pipes really fucks with them. And so then he said, "Look here, you're faster than them." I was like, "Nigga, nigga, nigga how? No, no, nigga, not. how?" <laughs> this movie posits that she is by far the fastest swimmer alive. No, she isn't. She and lost, she, and, and she isn't because she lost. Yes, and you told me the the fastest swimmer ever is recorded at five miles per hour. Yep. But Gators, four times that speed. Four times. So Gators went twenty miles. Like it's not even a race. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like when you it's like you versus a crawling baby, my nigga. It's like you, you got it, you know. You, you play with them shit like this, but it was like yeah. And so I, I heard that, and I didn't know anything about Gator Speed. I was like, that cannot be fucking possible. <laughs> I'm like, nope, nope. Google it right now. Right yeah, now. and I and I thought humans swam faster. I was like, maybe Michael Phelps, but I'm like, I still. But these niggas are built for watering. Yeah, they have they have web toes and a tail. I mean, they made exactly. Make- and they and they do this water shit, you know. They they live in this shit, baby. And he said that out loud. I was like, Sam, 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 how, how'd this get through? Was he pumping her up or some shit like that? <laughs> no, no, Maybe he was, she that, didn't that, know that, Gator that, That's exactly it. She don't know shit about shit. He's yeah. like, Hey, listen, you can do this. You are faster than a gator. Can you open your mouth underwater? Because they can too. Yeah, they have a valve for that. You see underwater and shit like that. And so by this time, it's full. It's so full that she can actually full on swim in the fucking basement. Now, remember what's in the basement. Two gators, a whole lot of feces and dead animals. <laughs> a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what happened there. Uh, so, so he initiates the plane. He's just banging on the pipes, right? Mm-hmm. And then she makes, she makes her way to uh, – she's trying to get to the stairway, basically, so she can get to the top of the house. Um, but meanwhile, while he's doing that, um, a gator breaks through into the catacombs where the dad is, and he mm-hmm. kills one with a shovel. Yeah. Oh, my bad. She shanked one to death. My bad. She got him in his eye. She's like, eh, eh, eh. Oh, no, Don't look still, at me. Don't look at still, me. He's still around, but he doesn't have much uh, depth perception. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. He's pissed. He's like, you know what? I was going to leave. Now I'm mad because I'm a one-eyed gator now. Like the gator from uh, Happy Gilmore. Same that's gator, right. actually. And now the human-gator ratio is two to one, so uh, plus one for humanity. Mm-hmm. Then Haley stumbles across a gator nest. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, hey, Dad, I'm going to go through the storm drain. That's the only way out. And then he was like, no, bitch, that's the way the gators came in. If, apparently, there might be more gators outside. She was like, look, Dad, it's the only way. It's the only fucking way because I'm faster than them. And the <laughs> stairs are right there. The stairs are right <laughs> fucking there. But it's also two gators. All right, whatever. And so while she's in the gator nest, she, like, like, like hides. She was like, she, she was like, maybe they can't see me if I stand still. She used a Jurassic Park logic and a big-ass mama gator run past them. And then she noticed, oh, shit, there's tiny alligators. And the movie was like, oh, no, the tiny ones are the worst. And I was like, no movie. <laughs> there was no need for baby alligators. I guess that's why they're nesting there. And somebody needs to fix their fucking storm drain. And this whole... They had to set it up for the sequel. <laughs> but the storm drain was, like, ripped open. Like, somebody bit that sitting bitch open. It wasn't like it was open. It was like something busted out of there. Maybe it was uh, 1999 Godzilla. I have to assume he loves fish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so she's swimming in sewer water. Mm-hmm. Open wounds. And though she sees one big ass gator swim by, she's like, God damn it. Let me hold my breath for five more minutes. <laughs> oh, before that, she takes the gun off the officer's body. Oh, yeah. And the risk to uh cost pl- the uh cost analysis it doesn't really work out in the situation. No. But she, she gets- knew something was in the water and so she the gator bites her arm because these are fucking biting machine. That's their main thing, right? I'm pretty sure it's like two thousand pounds of force and motherfuckers are just getting bit and being fine. Oh no see that alligator the, he was toying with her life. So mm-hmm. it was just a nibble. Like he toned down the PSI. He's like, hey turn it down to one. Yeah. Uh, no 0.5, 0.5. And she dropped it a full clip in that nigga's gullet. <laughs> and yeah, she, she she died. She knew, like, and but gun was underwater. Uh, okay, the gun fired. The first one didn't, I guess. And so she knew enough about guns to, I don't know how she made it fire again. But she didn't know enough about police officers or know that the motherfucker got, like, three clips on her. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is over if she have just got the other two clips. Because she could have handled those other two gators. <laughs> oh, definitely. So she's like, oh, no. 
Now I'm mad, Gators. Now I'm mad. She could John Wick the motherfuckers. I feel like she only quipped once. Mm-hmm. I feel like they should have turned up the quips. She was like, I got me a new handbag. Exactly. I'm like, come on, movie. Just lean into it a little bit. <laughs> Mom's got a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she escapes via drain pipe to get to the surface. She holds her breath for like half an hour. Yeah. And a Gator sees her, and then she outswims him. I heard that music that uh, you hear in Sonic the Hedgehog when you start running out of breath. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a that's a de- that's a horrible die too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so so these fucking monsters that have been on a rampage for like an hour by now, she outswims it just by a little bit, gets on land, and he was like, mm, "Land, my only weakness." Wait a minute, I, <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, I sleep on land. Are you sure? So I should just ch- chase her ass, and she's bleeding and stuff. Can- they can't smell blood in the water or some shit like that. No, he he easily could have got on land. No, 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 Gator Gator fact. They can't uh, smell blood in the water. I'm pretty sure they can smell blood in the water. I'm pretty sure. It seems they like they should be able to smell blood in water. It's uh, blood. They're prehistoric super beasts, so I'm pretty sure they can. <laughs> I, I'm just like, like I, I actually need to look at that. Go ahead. She Let me check crocodile.org real quick. Mm-hmm. Crocodile.org. Are you gonna really check it or I'm checking it? No, I do have a tab open with my Gator facts on it. Okay. So go ahead, look that up. So she, um, <laughs> I got uh, how to escape a crocodile death roll, which I'll get to a little bit later. So she, she actually locked the door. I mean, when she locked her, the door and said she had to, she had to bust the door down, and then John McLean over some broken glass. Oh, that was the best. Uh, and then she was like, "Dad, Dad, where are you?" And so rrr, 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 dog was like, "Yeah, he's right here." Rrr, 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 rrr. And so she had to like. Find a tool to bust through wood with an arm that's bit and a leg that's half dead. Okay. All the spirits in the world. So to answer answer the question, uh, yes. They can smell blood and water. Yeah. So it specifically says when alligators become blind, they can feed using their sense of smell, feeling, and sometimes uh, origin of sounds. Mm -hmm. So the alligator who lost his eye would actually have been fine because she was bleeding profusely. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they smelt that. So anyway. Uh, I'm not saying as good as shark from two miles away, but them niggas was like 30 feet away. Yeah, you would have been fine. Yeah. Um, and so she gets in the house, and then she has to bust the bust the wood open to get her dad. And then with her alligator bit arm, her half bit off leg, she pulls her dead weight father out of the water basement. Oh, they are the part that they don't show in this movie is that they're just doing rails. The whole time. Oh, the whole time. oh yeah. The whole That's time. how they survive. And so she gives him, you know, movie CPR and he comes back to life like <coughs> <laughs> as soon as he like 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 did the gurgle gurgle, I was I put my clock on I was like three minutes, that's brain dead, baby. <laughs> it was it was quite a while. Yeah. Quite a while. Also so, she she broke through the floor. Yeah. And made a big enough man sized hole to pull him up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the way up, because, you know, he was dead weight in the water. And he weighed more because he was soaking wet. Mm-hmm. And he was he had, like, 17 layers of clothes on, because he was, he was a handyman doing work. Yeah, with his tool belt. He had his tool belt on. Yep. With, uh, <laughs> uh, she, is, she is a dead man's lift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. And so, um, so she gets outside, and then she realizes that the hurricane has made their cars – Inusable, unus- unusable. Her plan was stupid as fuck. He's like, "Don't worry, we can just drive away, Dad. It'll be fine." <laughs> I could, ba- I barely drove here hours ago. So, do you have Google? Do you have a Gallagher facts for this one? Oh, because <laughs> his next plan is like, "Hey, Haley, there's a whole boat that didn't get washed away across the street, but the cop boat that was sitting right here got washed away." He no, this is this Dad is a walking zoo book. He's like, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, no, 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 but you, you see what I'm saying? The boat by the gas station to get washed away, but the cop boat that was right there got washed away. Oh, it sure did. And it should be right right there. It's just somewhere. It should be. It might be at um, uh, neighbor, na- neighbor Jeffrey's house. It might be Flanders' house, but I'm saying there should be a cop boat, which I'd rather take more than anything. But anyway, so um, he was like, well, you can swim that way, and they – they go by splashes, not because they can smell blood and water, because that'd be stupid. They go by splashes, and it's fucking raining right now. The only way this plan would not work if we had the worst luck in the fucking world. You know, at that point, I actually thought they were going to throw the dog. <laughs> yeah. 
white people love the animals way too much. Like, God damn it, as long as uh, Barky survives. <laughs> and so she was like, now swim for it. You're an apex predator. Five times. And so she starts swimming. And right when she starts swimming, uh, the rain stops. And he's like, okay, so he said they hunt by splashing. Is, is that true? Uh, they can feel movement, yes. All right, so because it's raining so hard, they're not going to feel your splashing, so they're going to leave you alone, even though you're bleeding profusely, and they probably can smell blood in the water. But anyway, that's not in, those aren't these alligators. Those are the alligators in northern Florida. These, oh, yeah, that's right. That, that these are their southern cousins. Yeah. They're not as sophisticated. So she looks up, she's like, oh, shit, we're in the eye of the storm, it's not raining anymore, and the gator's like, it's gator time. But then she still managed somehow to swim with a bum leg and a bum fucking arm, swim, out swim gators and get on a boat. And, and, she, go, and she goes to rescue her dad and the dog. And this is where we kind of get the only quip of the movie where she's like, yeah, apex predator. Yeah. And that's, then not, that's, her, not, that's, that's not a knife. I'm the real Jamaican Don Dada and all that kind of shit. She's, she's feeling herself. And then we was like, we thought the movie was over. And I was like, wait a minute. There's like 20 minutes left of this movie. And we hear, rrr, rrr, and he was like, oh, that's the, the levees just broke thing. And I was like, no, not the levees. <laughs> so they get washed back into the house as the house is flooded. Um, but she's like, don't worry, it's, it's the third act. And I believe in myself as a swimmer again. And um, her adrenaline's pumping and she does some more rails and she's mm-hmm. trapped in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, not to be confused with trapped in a closet. He's not going to be let out on bond this time. No. It's, he's gone. He, he's gone. Um, so, but on the same day, they're not going to uh, indict Eric Gardner's killer. So, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, Dad finds some flares in the movie, which is saves the rest of the movie. It, um, it, it, really, it really did. Um, just remember, everybody, just scatter helpful items throughout your house. Like, don't use any sort of organizational skills. You never know when you're going to need those things. Maybe a butcher knife, just on the floor. Oh, you just go eat me? During the fucking hurricane of all hurricanes, let me just go into this vase flare compartment. You probably don't get that if you've never seen the Kevin Hart thing. Anyway. No, I haven't. So, uh, Haley it, gets it is, it is one of the most commonly found items during a horror movie. I did some research. <laughs> I don't have any flares. <laughs> <laughs> you better get some flares. Yeah, they do flash buds around here. I keep some in the in my fridge. Keep some on me. Keep, keep some like a pistol. <laughs> Whether be caught my, with my flares and caught without it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's true. That's true. Are you, is there a problem? Is there a problem? Are you everybody about, everybody about to look right now? <laughs> Shit, it saved them chicks in forty-seven meters below. Damn, <laughs> sure did. I can't wait for that trailer, bro. <laughs> um, that, that movie looks stupid, and I'm gonna see it. There's a trailer for it. Forty-eight Not meters. Yet. Not yet. Okay. The first one was dope. What are you talking about? It was. I loved it. Except for the bins. Which was just like, to say, if you get the binge, you're going to die immediately, and so does your mom. <laughs> so, um, Haley gets washed down the thing, and the gator's chasing her, and she gets locked in the bathroom. And I swear to God, I've seen this scene before, but anyway. It was, it was also very reminiscent of Deep Blue Sea when LL Cool J jumps from, the, jumps from the oven to the broiler, then out of the broiler. No, yeah. no, it wasn't that one. It was, it was, I felt like it was just like that. It was paying homage to a fine film. Pretty sure somebody locked a shark in the closet before. Anyway, so she she says, Toro, Toro, the alligator is trying to jump at her, but she's faster than the alligator, remember? Because she's right. in water, and she's in the water, but she's an apex predator. And so with her broken leg, she hops over a wet shower and then locks the gator in there because he has a hard turning radius. Mm-hmm. And so she locks I, that gator in there. This is truly a testament to the dad's uh, craftsmanship. Mm-hmm. Because she put her full body weight on, uh, like, the pedestal where you rest the bar soap. Yeah. Also, that gator's tail whip is enough to break that fucking uh, shower door down. Exactly. Uh, it's shown that alligator tail whips are super effective, and that definitely would have broken a shower door. It's almost uh, on par with an Indoraptor's tail rip. Oh, oh, exactly. You could take and down uh, a cartel member with that. Or an uh, 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 elevator button. That's right. So, anyway... <laughs> So dad's yelling. He's like, Haley, and he's like letting his, uh, this flare go. And I thought we were done. <laughs> he's like, Haley, I have a flare inside. Look at me. <laughs> it's a flare inside while it's completely bright. 
He's like, there's, there's, there's no point in doing this. There's literally no point. I got my arm dangling, looking like a good piece of chicken. Oh, fuck! <laughs> so, <laughs> the, so the, the director just wanted a cool shot. That was it. That was all. <laughs> so this is the worst part. Like, everybody died, died, right? And, like, the dude getting slapped against the glass was brutal. But this motherfucker gets bit, right? Full bit. Then he twists the arm to break it, right? And so this is, like, three different things happen. He fall bite, breaks the fucking arm, and then he's like, Mm, no, not enough. He rips the fucking arm off. <laughs> These alligators are fucking sick bastards. <laughs> and I'm glad you pointed this out earlier because it's all making sense. These aren't normal gators. Yes, so far. The, the hurricane <laughs> is is kind of like alligator purge. Mm-hmm. They, do, uh, nice. they do whatever the fuck that day. And they have the purge symbol. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And so, um, because he's a handyman, he keeps all the belts on him in the world. <laughs> right? So he's like, oh, now I got to belt my arm because I'm not going to be a handyman anymore, baby. <laughs> <laughs> not quite as handy. Uh, <laughs> I'm dang, a handyman. Talk, talk, uh, talk about death. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she gets a, um, uh, a radio that doesn't work because, you know, radios in movies. Oh, they had been showing that radio like the entire movie. They showed it like three or four times. It doesn't work as soon as she gets to it. So um, uh, there was a black mayor, and he was like, hey, y'all need to get the fuck out of here at the beginning of the movie because we will not come to get you. They came to get the pussy. They they, they did. (laughs) And so he was like, all right, let's get to the attic because the movie's almost over. And why did she go in that other room? Um, Oh, yeah. So they're they're about to go to the attic, but she hears a helicopter and thinks she sees a searchlight. So she runs over to the window to try to signal it with a flare instead of trying to get on the roof because mm-hmm. the movie couldn't be over just yet. Yeah. And but the roof the the room was fully fair, and then guess what? That scene with Jaws came and broke that shit. The alligator came to him, busted her shit, right? Yep. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And like breaks through the window. Mm-hmm. And then we were waiting for the whole time for this movie to give us one. And the alligator gets her arm and then death rolls her. And then she has the like death roll into catching the flare that was lit, right? Yes. Also, she handled that the correct way. When you get death rolled, you're supposed to roll with the roll to minimize the damage. It's like uh, when you slip on dry ice, on black ice, you know, you go with the slid into the tree. That's right. Mm-hmm. But an alligator wouldn't use it on a person because they use it for larger prey. So they wouldn't do that. Hey, these are fucking South Florida, remember? Oh yeah, and so right. she misses part. the uh, she misses the flare about five times. Finally, she grabs him and stabs that nigga in the eye. She's like, eh, 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 eh. there was a lot of shanking going on. I don't so think they that... shanked with a lot of different things. Yeah, she stabbed him with a flare. Yeah, well, she burned him because that shit's burning as fucking hot as this shit. Well, I don't think she stabbed him in the eye. I think that looked like under his jaw, and then she oh. went his head. Okay, yeah. So she did that. She shanked the nigga with a fucking thing. It was a good shank movie. You know, this is a nice prison alligator movie. It was, it was. He should have kept those fun books on him. Exactly. And so she swims outside, and I guess the alligators are done because too many have done gone. There's been three. Like, one got a bad eye. You know it would have been dope if it was the, the alligator whose eye got fucked up was the one that came and death rolled her ass. <laughs> He's like, revenge, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> you thought I was gone! <laughs> and so uh, she climbs up. Let's just, just move over. She climbs up on the roof, and they're like, well, we made it. And we're white, so they're definitely going to come get us. Not like, um, anyway. Did you uh, stick around for the, the uh, stinger scene? There was no stinger scene. And so uh, she was right. like, Dad was like, hey, I, I, I'm the most dead in this movie because I should have no blood right now because I got bit on my shoulder and I was bleeding quite profusely and I was down there unconscious for like, like an hour. And then I got my arm bit off. So I'm probably dead right now. I just needed to live to you. And so she flags down a thing, and then the movie's over. Or is there a singer scene? Uh, yeah, there's like a purple alligator, and then he grabs a gauntlet and says, uh, fine, fine, I'll do it myself. Blah, blah, boo. Uh, uh, this movie was fucking great. I enjoyed every minute of this movie. Every. Uh, and uh, they didn't cut off and show no after shit, like, you know, resolution. They're like, fuck your resolution. If you know, any, <laughs> if you know anything about anything, these motherfuckers are dead. Ain't I like, fucking anti, anti poison in the world for rat feces, fucking <laughs> dead possum, the salivate, the sal, the saliva of a fucking alligator that we can give these motherfuckers because that shit went every wound they got. This nigga lost an arm. 
<laughs> that's kind of, that's another reason why I love the movie actually, because the second you see the helicopter, that movie is fucking over. Yeah, they're like done. You get no resolution. You're not gonna see her two months later in the fucking water. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. She's never swimming again. Hey, you know what? Leave it open to interpretation. No, fuck interpretation. They knew what they were doing. Nobody survived. The dog made it. And it's smooth under 90 minutes. I'm like, this movie fucking respected my time. I appreciate and it had filler, too. It did, and I, and I appreciate that so much. <laughs> but, you know, this is a good movie. Sam Raimi is having my trust. They need to let him back in the MCU. They should. I mean, well, he never was in the MCU. Well, well, I guess, yeah, let him direct a Marvel film. Yeah. And he was doing that low budget grind shit, baby. Well, he didn't direct this; he produced this. He well, think, fun. well, I think that what we talked about, maybe this is what he really wants to do. Like he likes that kind of horror shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and he like weird shit, baby. He's a weird dude, you know. I'm looking at looking at what this director has done in the past. Uh, he did High Tension. That's a good. That's a really good horror movie. If you haven't seen it, no, never seen it. You, like, I'll take that rec- recommendation. Oh, we got Lion King this week. Mm-hmm. Yep, we sure do. Mm-hmm. I watched like a third of Shaft. It's, mm-hmm. it's a movie. Yeah, I mean, we know what you're looking for, baby. I just didn't need Young Shaft. That's all I didn't need. That's you. What you think about the movie is already true. Just that's correct. Okay. Like that's a correct assessment. Yeah. You don't need you don't need Little Shaft, and you're right. But yeah. Samuel Jackson is doing stuff, so. Yeah, I just want a Samuel Jackson and Richard Roundtree and a fucking buddy a buddy Shaft movie. Yep, six years that older. That would have been six years. Like, six years older than his dad. Wait, Sam Jackson's older than Richard Roundtree? No, Richard Roundtree is six years older than Samuel Jackson. Yeah, that's his father in the movie. Yep, uh, Uncle would have been just fine, like he had fucking played it. And I, I had to watch Shad Two Thousand to see how he addresses him. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. He, I'm pretty sure he says Uncle though. I'm like a hundred percent sure. Yeah, because they didn't. Because they knew that these niggas was really the same age and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> The niggas went to elementary school together. Sam was in kindergarten. He was in pre. He was in sixth grade. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, you got anything else for a wrap up? Never wrap it up. Shout out to Ric Flair, the Four Horsemen, um, Lexi Alexander, Lil Mike, and rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle. Everybody, want to say thank you for listening. Make sure you follow us on SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, or wherever else you get podcasts. Uh, visit us at allpodcastmatter.com. Make sure you go to crocodile.org. And uh, musical guest this week is Wani uh, from Fairfield. Thanks for listening. Two up, two down. A lot of niggas want me, baby, but it's confident. And yes, that nigga could be mine, but then I'm kind of mental. And yeah, my knocking bitches off and I ain't coming gentle. And when you speaking on my name, make it beneficial. A lot of niggas want me, baby, but it's confidential. And yes, that nigga could be mine, but then I'm kind of mental. Yeah, I'm knocking bitches off and I ain't coming gentle. And when you speaking on my name, make it beneficial. A lot of niggas want me, baby, but it's confidential. But it's confidential. And yes, that nigga could be mine, but then I'm kind of mental. Yeah, and if I like him, I'ma fuck him. Yeah, it's kind of simple. Uh, Pussy made a golden once it's his. You can't reach his senses. And I ain't clearing up shit. You should think the same. Unless it's 40, make you bang straight to your brain. Speaking on my name, little bitch gon' have you in a gray. Speaking on my game, you gon' feel my pain. A lot of shit made me crazy, so I'm sick with it. And I ain't talking about the label, bitch. Come and get it. You don't want these fucking problems. Yeah, I kind of fit it. So take your pipe and put it down. You can't be my gimmick. A lot of niggas want me, baby, but it's confidential. And yes, that nigga could be mine, but then I'm kind of mental. And yeah, my knocking bitches off and I ain't coming gentle. And when you speaking on my name, make it beneficial. A lot of niggas want me, baby, but it's confidential. And yes, that nigga could be mine, but then I'm kind of mental. Yeah, I'm knocking bitches off and I ain't coming gentle. And when you speaking on my name, make it beneficial. Bitch, yeah, it's confidential. Yeah, it's confidential. Hey, bitch, yeah, I'm kind of mental. Yeah, I'm kind of mental. Hey, speaking on my speaking on my name, make it And when you speaking on my name, make it beneficial.